fins. I get asked all the time about fins. So here's what we're gonna do today is kind of break it down. We're talking about wake surfboards. We're talking about fin configuration. We're talking about the types of fins. The first thing that I'm gonna set is that if you look at this base here, that's called a futures base. And there's also an FCS base. And you'll see that this FCS base is not even opened because here at Canuck, we have standardized with the futures base. I personally, being an ocean surfer once upon a time, never really bought into the FCS base. There's some other companies out there that have proprietary junk. Um, the reason that we kind of standardize to the FC or to the uh, futures base is because there are a ton of different types of fins, and I'll just kind of break down a few of these for you. Hi, Jim. Uh, honeycomb, which is going to kind of be in between. Uh, it's going to be a little bit less uh, responsive. It's going to be stiffer. Uh, so we've got a honeycomb type fin, uh, honeycomb plus some uh, some weirdness. This one's from AU Fins. I think I ordered those out of California. You've got another honeycomb fin. This is from Futures. Real good fin. Um, this one here essentially replaced this standard for many wake surfers going back about 10 years. This This here, which is the WCT Futures Rasta Honeycomb, this was a very standard fin that um, a lot of women rode as well as the younger guys, the lighter guys. Um, so you'll see these honeycomb shapes, again, another AU fin. Then you get into fiberglass. Um, this one here is a C. Anderson, uh, Chris Anderson, I think, or Craig Anderson Futures. The Ando, I think is what it was called. This is a, this is a fiberglass. It's not gonna be as stiff as uh, say the honeycomb. Um, but it's going to be uh, uh, a little bit more deadline with regards to uh, comparisons to a plastic fin. A plastic fin would be like this one here. This is the F4, pretty standard from Futures. Um, I've actually drawn a bit of a, I don't know if people can see that, but that is the difference between sort of a two and a half inch fin, which was very typical of the early skim skirfer surfer skim hybrid type boards this one's 4.22 inches uh when we talk about the canuck fins this is about as uh small a fin that we'll make so you can see there's quite a bit of difference between that and a two and a half inch fin which i do not believe that a two and a half an inch fin has a place in wake surfing so there's a lot of different varieties here um dane reynolds we'll talk about his fin in a minute one of my favorite surfers so you've got basically a lot of different fiberglass variations here here's a geordie you can kind of see i don't know if you can see it but there is some honeycomb in there uh, they were doing some really cool kind of carbon fiber overlays to to uh honeycomb as well and so you've got basically the three types and these are all various colors so you've got your honeycomb you got your fiberglass and you've got your plastic. Getting into a few of the other odds and sods, uh, let's talk about fin boxes. Uh, Canuck uses a twin fin box setup. We have experimented with a thruster three fin setup. We've experimented with a quad fin setup in times of, uh, of a quad, and I still see this out there, is that you'll see a primary fin on either side, and then you'll see like a nubster fin behind it. My opinion, in wake surfing, completely useless. It's creating drag, it's not allowing the board to separate on the surface of the water, so 360s, front side maneuvers, anything that's sliding the fins along the surface of the water greatly compromised your your uh, your ability to perform is greatly compromised 
and that's why little trailers like these bins as well too. Uh, they were kind of cute. These ones were kind of cute years ago too. I used them all and uh, unfortunately junk. Uh, not really having too much of a place in wake surfing. Um, there are some, you know, you can go into any surf shop in the world. The interesting thing about um, if you ever buy a surfboard, say in Huntington Beach or in Maui or places in Indonesia or all around the world, you go in and you select your board, then you select your traction, you install your traction, and then you select your fins. So what we do at Canuck is we bundle it all together when you receive a board for us from us. Uh, we've got the fins included, we've got the traction included, and we've stopped applying the traction. So we've got tutorial videos to show you how to apply it yourselves. And we think that that's better for the performance rider because you can now start to situate it where your feet are. Um, all kinds of, again, this is a honeycomb, uh, kind of cute. This one here, I, I don't even know who these are, but uh, Captain Finco um, didn't really perform in wake surfing, probably performed very well in ocean. Um, these are Kelly Slater's fins, Kelly Slater 2.1. Very cool fin, uh, very exposed uh, honeycomb. I found they were good, they were good, not great. Um, again, when I looked into some of the fiberglass options, this is a Dane Reynolds. This guy is like my favorite surfer. Um, but these don't translate very well from the ocean to the wake surf. And I think it's just a matter of flex. And we'll kind of compare them in a minute to some of our fins. But like I said, those Ando Futures black sticks, these are exceptional fins. I still think that these are very applicable to wake surfing. If I take these two fins here and kind of compare them, you will see, and you kind of set your bases the same, but you'll kind of see that a little bit taller on the Dane. That might not matter to some people. To some people it does. A little bit more rake. Rake is the amount of uh, extension that the, the, the fin goes back. They say that this makes the fin less responsive and certainly in the ocean, if you have more of an upright fin, um, you're gonna get more responsiveness. But in wake surfing, you've already got a lot of drive. Our boards are built for drive. And uh, I actually like to have a fair amount of rake. So interesting that the black sticks kind of work for wake surfing, but the Reynolds didn't. Um, both excellent uh, brands. Tons of respect to the riders, of course. But when we kind of have a look at the fins that we've been rocking, I'll go again back in time to the Futures Rasta WCT. And we found this one for my son in, in Maui. This is um, called a CTG fin. And you'll see that these are quite different in terms of size a little bit of different rake but obviously different in size this one worked really good for my son when he was 13 years old doesn't work so well for him now because it just doesn't have the drive this worked really good for lily and i know cassidy gale used this and a lot of the uh the female riders use this fin but when we compare it today to one of the standard Canuck fins, what you're going to see is quite a difference in configuration. And this fin here, which was the industry leading, is now, in my opinion, a very slow fin. And you'll also see as well, too, that we've, we've, we've shortened the fin to a 4.22 inch. So this is the smallest fin that we offer. Um, in relation, we have this fin here that we sold with the Burnsies uh, throughout the years. And you're gonna see that we go from a 4.22 in the candy to a 4.55. Again, I think anything over a four inch fin is legit in wake surfing. Anything under that benchmark, I think is getting a little bit on the side of cheating, especially for shove and maneuvers. So, um, 
we also took a lot of research, did a lot of studying to figure out how we should be designing our fins for the angle or the cant that it, it leans outward from the board, as well as how we should have the foil as well as, so you've got a foil side to the fin, which is the rounded side, and then you've got a flat side or a concave side. So you'll see on, on our fins that we've got some angle. Those go in the fin boxes the same way every time, but it does angle the fin out. On our fin boxes, how they're set up on the board, they are relatively straight. That's creating drive, that's creating speed, but it's also allowing the fins to break loose on the surface for 360 maneuvers, uh, other types of spinning maneuvers on the surface of the water. And because it's creating drive or speed down the line, you're also getting good aerials with these type of fins as well. Um, a good example of how we've changed the fins for this year is if you buy a Bernsey this year, you're probably getting that fin. We've gone to a fiberglass construction here, so not plastic, not honeycomb. Um, and again, you'll see there's a little bit of difference here in terms of height, how tall it is, but we've kept the rake relatively the same and we've kept the angles the same. We've got a little bit less volume on the new fin. I like that. These are the, the last two fins that I've rode and I would say that they're very similar. Um, this one here is helping me a lot with things like an Air 180, a surface front side 360 or surface reverse, uh, air reverse. Um, I'm just able to get as much speed and a little bit more breakaway with these. But if we kind of look at uh, some of our funkier comparisons out there, this fin is a prototype that we had built for us. It is a four inch fin. It's a dead on four inch fin because I wanted to kind of have a look at what that, what, uh, what that look like. Uh, you're gonna see here that compared to our smallest existing fin, which is a 4.22, there's the difference between four and 4.22. Relatively similar rake, not as much extension. Um, these ones didn't quite cut it. And especially when you compare it to the larger fins that we offer, you're gonna see that there's a world of difference there in those two, um, those two fins. So for the people that are out there that are wanting to stretch the limits, we've got some prototypes working on the four uh, inch fin right now. Um, again, compared to our largest fin from, from last year, which sold at the Bernsey boards, you're gonna see that there's quite a bit of difference in the length and in the rake on, on those two fins. So we're always playing around. So that's more of a prototype there. I did bring some funkier fins. I don't have the AUs. I don't know where those are. Those were those kind of curved fins. There's kind of a curve in them, but I thought these ones were pretty funky. These are called S-wings and I think I bought these out of France. Ironically, uh, this has got a, uh, it's a fiberglass fin, but it's got a honeycomb insert. So you've kind of got both there. Same base. I didn't think this would work. Ironically, this, this did work in wake surfing. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't extol this for people who are looking to compete or, or progress, but I was able to do my, all my backside maneuvers, like 360s and alley-oops and those type of maneuvers. It struggles a little bit on front side maneuvers, air 180s, surface reverses, surface air reverses, uh, or sorry, air reverses. So there, there is some differences here. I thought it was just kind of funky. It's kind of been put back into its bag and tossed away as well. But that's a little snapshot as to what we have developed here for fins. I would go back to compare these two here. And we certainly have brought lots of fins to market. Um, for instance, Cassidy's got her own fin, Stewie's got his own fin, Lily's got her own fin, and Connor's got multiple versions of his fin. Actually, I think they all have multiple versions, mostly uh, just graphical changes. 
But as you can see, we kept these fins relatively the same for the cant, the rake, the length, and the same would be true for the, uh, for the ladies' fins as well. So if you ever wanna ask more questions of us or um, you know, kind of lean into the, the fin side of wake surfing, happy to share that information. Um, there was one time, gosh, years ago, probably 10, 12 years ago, I went out and was able to try 13 different sets of fins uh, all in a single session. I would say at least two thirds of those, probably closer to 10 out of the 13, I just immediately after, after one line took them out of the board. They just didn't work. Ocean fins don't translate to wake surfing. Some of the funky fins out there, for some strange reason, they do, but don't recommend. We started engineering what did work, and again, there's a lot of off-the-shelf products like the ones I've mentioned here, but we've developed our own fins. Uh, every year we're trying to get a little bit more progressed on the fin side. Um, a lighter fin, a faster fin, um, I think uh, another improvement over what we offered before, and we'll see where we come back to. But that's a quick snapshot onto fins, what we've designed here at Canuck, and what people in the future can expect to see in terms of progression. These are some of the elements that we're always thinking about. Please reach out, Instagram, email, YouTube, direct. Uh, if you have any questions, just let us know. Happy to answer and engage. Thanks for your time.